think a lot of entrepreneurs today have started realizing that there is a value in thinking about an exit. And we have one right here, Akash Sureka. Akash, uh, you know, I think it will be fantastic. And there, there are a number of entrepreneurs here in the audience today who would love to know how you started up. Do you ever think about an exit? Is that something that happened out of design or, uh, you know, out of uh, someone approaching you? Uh, it would it, it it'd be fantastic if you could share your story uh, with the audience. Sure, yeah. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah I think it was uh, a defined very honest, right? And because I always believed uh, uh, what you start defines your exit. And uh, for many entrepreneurs, uh, I think it's very important to think, how do you want to start? Right? What do you really want to do? Uh, will you want to build a great company? Will you want to build a great product? Or, uh, you know, somewhere in between, right? And in, in my case, I was uh, pretty much straightforward that I want to build a great world-class global mobility product, right? Uh, because uh, the moment what you decide or you decide what you want to do, uh, that also decides or, you know, it helps you to work on your next steps. So, and I do if I want to build a great product, uh, which is global in nature, I might have uh, issues in sustainable business models moving forward because my focus currently is uh, really building world-class solution. And uh, from that point of view, we're pretty sure if we are going by that route, uh, we have to look at an exit strategy. Uh, because if any investors or uh, you know co-founders are working in this kind of business model, uh, they would definitely are looking in the longer term from an exit point of view. It's pretty straightforward because you're not looking to build a sustainable billion-dollar businesses every year. Uh, you know, you're looking to build a product which could be in longer term a billion dollar business, uh, you know. So that's how we define uh, our strategy. What, so the only question I asked when I started is, what do I want to do? <laughs> right, and that really helps me out to, you know, and help me out to define my further strategies. And when I decided on that part, so what does it require to build great product? Uh, you know, so it requires great teams. Uh, unless you have great teams, you really cannot build a great product. You, you might have thousands of ideas your idea or your concept could be a multi-million dollar, but if you don't have great team, you can do that, right? So we, we, we worked on building great teams. Now, when we worked on, once we had that team in place, uh, we decided, you know, what kind of size of product we want to build. Do we want to build a product which is only for India? Or do we want to build a product only for emerging markets? Or whether we want to build a product which is global in nature? And uh, so, 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 so we decided, yes, we want to build a global product, right? And when we decided to build a global product, we start thinking about uh, what global companies in that specific sector are doing, right? What what things they're taking care of, what trends they're looking at, uh, you know, uh, what things three years later, because sure, if you start today, you won't get an exit tomorrow, right? So you have to think those great companies, what would they look two years from, from there and, and are you in, in that roadmap of there so that you know because you're building a product and not a kind of sustainable 10 years, 20 years, 30 years companies uh, like what Kaushal has built out uh, and so that defined us uh, you know the whole the way we want to build those products and solutions right and uh, I think those things really helped us uh, to, to define our exit plans eventually so to, to straightforward answer, yes, we were very honest that we want to get an exit. <laughs> excellent, excellent. 